Hi <laughs> guys. It is just a nasty, yuck, depressing slit your wrist. Uh, let me get abducted by Bigfoot and carried off in a UFO kind of day. It is Saturday, October 14th, 2023. So uh, it is time for my new feature here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe uh, and maybe my new channel Aliens and Doomers where we talk about UFOs and space aliens and we're going to color a little bit out of the lines today and just talk about Bigfoot for a few minutes. This is not going to be a Bigfoot channel. Uh, oh yeah, I, you know, when I was doing that, uh, my uh, rants, my UFO space alien rants last Saturday, I was trying to remember all of the varieties of unadulterated horseshit uh, and the UFO space alien uh, community, and this is where the clueless fucking morons in that community join forces with the clueless fucking morons in the Bigfoot community. And make no mistake about it, the, the Bigfoot rabbit hole is almost, almost, not quite a, as full of unadulterated horseshit as this alien, uh, unadulterated horseshit. Not quite as much, but if you ever hear anybody from either side, if you ever hear some space alien UFO, uh, clueless fucking moron suggesting that Bigfoot is flying around on these UFOs, or by the same to token, if you ever hear a Bigfoot clueless fucking moron talking about, uh, you know, Bigfoot being a space alien, run like hell, anybody making a connection between Bigfoot and, and UFOs is so fucking clueless. They make flat earthers uh, seem like Neil deGrasse Tyson. Okay, put that in there. But anyway, I just want to briefly talk about this new um, Bigfoot sighting in Colorado. Uh, about probably once every five years, they, uh, they come up with a video uh, on YouTube or Twitter or wherever the hell this thing originally surfaced that uh, it is not a, an example of a video that I automatically throw into the Bigfoot unadulterated horseshit trash can. And so if you have not seen this video uh, from Colorado, it, it, it is worth looking at. Uh, I don't know what that fucking thing is. Uh, once again, uh, it, it, it is one of two things. I mean, it, it was filmed by several witnesses. They were on this tourist train in Colorado. I have actually been on this train. Goes through the middle of nowhere in the Colorado Rockies. And several people on this train in broad daylight were, were filming this, whatever the fuck this thing was. Uh, you know what really pisses me off about this? Here we were. We had a fucking train full of people in, in broad daylight looking at a fucking Bigfoot. Why they didn't stop that fucking train. I've been on the fucking train, all right, guys? It's going about 20 miles an hour. They could have stopped that fucking train. We could have right now, right now, we could probably have 100 videos, hundreds of uh, photographs, 
uh, witness testimony. This this was one of the most glorious botched opportunities in Bigfoot history. That that fucking train kept going with a train full of fucking people. Every goddamn one of them uh, w with a cell phone camera and video camera. Uh, who who could have gotten? Uh, the best videos that we have ever had, and uh, they could have just, it, this thing was just a, a hundred yards off the fucking tracks. Uh, they they could have gone and gotten, uh, well, obviously footprints. They probably could have, uh, with a little bit of work, gotten some DNA evidence. Uh, off the rocks and, uh, and, and, and whatnot, they probably could have some DNA evidence. Now, of course, uh, the DNA evidence they might have gotten is that what this thing was was a person in what's called a ghillie suit. I had never heard of a ghillie suit in my entire life never heard the term ghillie suit, but I went and looked it up, uh, and uh, it looks like it, it could be a person in a ghillie suit. Now, I'm a little bit confused about the face. If you look at those, the best shot they could get of the face of this thing, uh, I, I don't know what to do with that. Uh, I... A buddy of mine who said he has owned ghillie suits uh, assures me uh, he does not know what the fuck that thing was, but it was not a, a man in a ghillie suit, uh, you know, pulling a hoax uh, on the train. So a lot of people are saying, obviously, uh, this was a hoaxer. Uh, that a fucking Bigfoot isn't going to walk out in broad daylight in front of a fucking tourist train. That this was clearly some fucking dude in a, in a ghillie suit. And, and, and then I love the one they're talking about. It is a bow hunter. I guess it's, deer, it's bow hunting season uh, there. And they're claiming this is a bow hunter. And a, that it's not a hoaxer, it is just a bow hunter in a ghillie suit. There's one problem with that. This fucking thing was not carrying a bow and arrow. He had no bow and arrow in his hand. So I'm not sure why a bow hunter would be walking around in a fucking ghillie suit without a, uh, without a bow and arrow. It was not a, a deer hunter a, a bow hunter. Uh, so once again, it was either some dude in a fucking ghillie suit uh, having fun with this, or it was uh, some, uh, it, it was a Bigfoot. It's one of the two. It's not a fucking bear. Okay? We can all agree that's not a bear. But anyway, just uh, if you have not seen that, I will try to remember to put a link, but you can find it. Just put in Bigfoot Colorado sighting and it will come up. But I make a shit, I've already gone past 15 minutes. So we're going to come back and we're going to talk about Carlos Castaneda for a moment. And then we're going to have an interview with uh, a friend of mine who insists he has had a personal conversation with someone from another planet. Coming up. My guys. I didn't go over 15 minutes.